Hey guys, Misty here. How's everyone doing tonight? I just wanted to come on and do a little collective haul video. And for starters, I got this adorable little witch gnome from the Dollar Tree. He was $3, so he's going to sit over here and help us out tonight. And these little pumpkins from Dollar Tree with the clips on the back. They come in sets of three, but the other one was broken or lost or something so they put these on clearance and I got them for a quarter. Can't pass up a quarter. And so they're gonna sit off to the side there while we go through everything. So let's see here. For starters, we're gonna start with um, my Sheen haul. Most of everything tonight is Halloween. There's a couple things from Sheen that is not Halloween. First, I got this pack of papers that I can't read. And I guess they're actually an Art Deco design on them, which you call this Art Deco. I, uh, the way the picture looked, I actually thought these were cutouts. The paper was kind of like a lace or a doily type of paper with cutouts, but I'm not disappointed at all that it's not because I will still totally use this. This is going to be great um, for collages as well. It's nice neutral colors. It'll go with just about anything as long as, you know, the design matches. So I'm happy with that. And uh, I think I forgot to tell you guys, but I will put a link for everything down below. Uh, next is some crystal stickers. Um, if you know me, you'll know that I absolutely love crystals. They were my first passion <laughs> in life. I actually started collecting crystals when I was nine years old, and my grandpa bought me my first set of crystals in New Jersey, where we were actually on the way to New Jersey. And, uh, I've fallen in love with them that day and have collected ever since, so... I plan on doing some sort of crystal journal in the future and when I saw these crystal stickers while I was searching around on Shane looking for Halloween stuff I decided that there was no way I could pass these up. I know how things sell out quickly so I went ahead and grabbed them. So, so many cute. These are adorable. I absolutely love these. These are going to be so much fun to work with. Awesome. So that was a great find that I was not expecting. Next up, I got uh, this layered butterfly die. And it kind of goes down in size. So it looks like the first, the base layer is going to be the biggest. And it's going to be solid and then progressively smaller until you get to the top layer, which is gonna be your detailed layer. So it's gonna be like a four layer butterfly. So super excited about that because I don't actually have any butterfly dies. Can you believe it? I use butterflies in almost everything I make and yet I did realized I had no butterfly dies. Uh, this next one I'm excited about, it is a pumpkin uh, shaker die set so I am super excited to make this I if you guys remember I got those sequin mixes from the magical mixery store which will be linked below and I'm super excited to make them I to use them in a shaker I did make some homemade shakers but this is my first die set and I will be honest I'm not 100% sure how you use the die to make the shaker. So if any of you watching has a video, show me how to use a shaker die set. I would love to know about it so that I can make it. Then I am actually in a huge Halloween swap. Um, and so I came across these Halloween style bags that I wanted to use to package items up in the swap um, and it's huge it's four stages you send 
and it's a secret sister one as well and there's four stages so over the next four weeks every week you mail off another um package each one progressively bigger than the one before and i also came across these uh black bags with stars on them and actually oh sorry for the glare these are not exactly what they thought they were. I actually thought that they were paper, which I would have definitely preferred. However, um, I will still use the plastic, but I definitely thought these were paper. I'm sure it said somewhere and I just didn't read properly. <laughs> um, let's see here. Next, I got uh, this mandala. Another one of my favorites is boho and mandalas. And I just got this mandala zipper bag to um, actually to hold all my butterflies in. I have tons of them. They end up all over the place, especially once I get them all cut out. So that's going to be for that. And then to hold all of my little Halloween pieces, I've got this amazing... Uh, black, gray, and red, and white sugar skull. I absolutely love it. This one's super thick, too. This is really, this is really good quality. For, like, a dollar, I think. I don't know. I'll link it below. And then this one here is um, actually for the swap as well. It is... Uh, a tote bag with the moon's phases on it. I think this is absolutely awesome. And now that I see it in person, I wish I had ordered a second for myself. That would have been <laughs> a great idea. <laughs> but I did not. I absolutely love that. That is so cool. I'm going to send uh, uh, the final phase of the swap I'm actually making my swap partner a journal and I was going to put the journal in that bag when I sent it off let's see what we have next is um this is one of those um it's called it says lace love material paper lace story but it's a random pick so you don't know which designs you're going to get until you receive it Looks like I got the doily designs, which I am happy with. I would have been happy with any of them, to be honest. I did kind of want the butterflies, but I am totally good with this. Oh, I see. So it looks like we have hearts as the main theme. These are awesome, though. These are going to be so much fun to use. I love this. And it's not all hearts, so that's great. We can still use this in other ways. Oh, these are super cute. Oh, I love this one the most. I think that's my favorite. Because it reminds me of a mandala, of course. <laughs> so those are that. And honestly, I love the packaging we get from these places. This is going to be amazing to use in a project. And then... The last time I got from Sheen <laughs> was, again, my mistake for not reading properly. I was, thought I was ordering the die set for this, and in fact, I was just ordering one card. <laughs> so I spent $2 on this card when I thought it was the die set. This is cute. It's a little bow tie ribbon. Was that a bow tie or is that just supposed to be a bow? Super cute, though. And, um... Let's see here. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? I really thought I was ordering the die set. It's actually, this is called an invitation. They got to use for a Halloween invitation or something like that. So I'm still going to have a blast using this. It comes with this envelope. It's just that I thought I ordered the die set for this here. <laughs> but super awesome. Love it. Moving on to scrapbook.com. Um, these next three items came from scrapbook.com. First, sorry, they're stuck together. <laughs> I got this uh, six by six paper pad. 
um, Mysterio by DCWV. Matte stock. It says there's 24 sheets, double sided printed card stock. And uh, let's take a look. Stop in. Oh, these are cute. Stop in for a spell. Every day holds new magic. The magic is within you. I wish you a happy Halloween. And she's magic, that one. Oh, I love those. Okay, so we have two of each in here. Oh, look at these. These are so cute. The little witch hats, skulls and bats and snakes, potion bottles, tarot cards. Oh, this is super adorable. And there's the back side. Oh, and look at it's foiled. So we have the tarot cards, or what appears to be tarot cards, and uh with the silver foil background. Let's see what the back of that one looks like. Well, that's cute. So a bunch of different things like, um, the witching hour is near, I put a spell on you, believe in magic, super cute. Well, I love that one. Oh, yes. I love Luna Moths. They're one of my favorite things. So I'm super happy about the back of this paper. And look, little heart-shaped spider webs with spiders. Oh, I like that. Little mushrooms and uh, fern leaves. That's super cute. And that can actually be used all year round. Little purple baddies. Let's see what the back side of that one looks like. Oh, I like that. Oh, look at the cats with the cauldrons and the witch's hats. Again, there's foiling on it. And the back side to that. Ooh, oh, I really love that. That's right up my alley. Awesome. And then here's the next one. Little spools. And on the back, we have little crescent moons and stars. Up next is some silver skulls. And that's the back side. Oh, that's cute. Whoops, sorry, I bumped the camera with a paper pad. <laughs> and that is the back. Oh, little tiny witches on a broomstick. Oh, look at that. Uh, silver and black stripe. Oh, that's one of my favorites. Look at that. Oh, I love that one. And little potion bottles. With little skull keys. Super cute. And again, that was Mysterio. Up next, we have Hocus Pocus, 13th birthday edition. And this is uh, 24 pages, with, double sided with two bonuses on the cover. And I don't know how to say her name, Katarzyna. And I cannot pronounce her last name, but here's the information. Oh, wow. Look at those. Oh, wow. Look at that. I love that pattern. This is, I really love this paper pad. I'm gonna say that this is my favorite. Look at these. I love her. And it looks like it starts over and repeats. Super cute. Yep. 
So yeah, there we go. So those were it. That is awesome. I love that. Six by eight is four sheets of six different designs. Okay. And then I don't know if you guys have ever shopped on scrapbook.com, but they always have a free gift. So when I placed my order, this was the free gift by Paper Rose Paper Pad. And it's called Everything Sweet. It's a six by six um, with 18 double-sided pattern papers, one each of 36 designs, printed on 200 GSM. So I got this whole paper pad for free, which, let me make sure I'm in frame here, I thought was pretty awesome. Oh, no, I absolutely love this one. Some beautiful cut apart. Those are going to be fun to use. Oh, that's pretty. Little tiny journal cards. Love. Some more little journal cards. Uh, happy birthday. Thank you. Hugs and kisses. Congratulations. Sweet wishes the bag. Oh, look at these little tiny cut aparts. Isn't that cute? So adorable. And that's the back side. Oh, this is going to be great for my uh, Sakura journal. I can use this in there. I love it. Cupcakes. Yum. I miss cupcakes. And on the back side, we have You Will Forever be my always. Just a little reminder, you are loved. I'm yours, no returns. Happy Valentine's. <laughs> That's cute. No returns. Sounds like something my sister-in-law would say to my brother. <laughs> I love it. Love all these plaids, pinks and purples. Oh, this is going to be so much fun to create with. All right, moving on to the next store. Let's see what we got here. So from creativescrapbookstore.com, I got the Tim Holtz deco sheets, which are four sheets each of three colors and they're sticker paper. Let's try to see what the measurements are. But they're sparkling adhesive backed sheets that can be die cut or punched in purple, black, and orange. Oh, and we have another plastic. I'm not sure why we really needed two on there. There we go. Ooh, these are pretty. Oh, I cannot wait to create with these. Oh, I love it. They kind of have a scent, like a chemical scent though. And, oh, uh, here's just a little pack of uh, witchy stickers I got from, how, uh, out from Amazon. Just a bunch of, oh, that's cute. Just a bunch of random, some tarot cards, jack-o'-lantern with a witch hat. Look at, these are super cute. Raven, Ooh, let's see her. Oh, she's pretty, oh, I like her. So yeah, just a bunch of stickers to use and all the fun Halloween stuff we will be making here very soon. And last but not least, we have Michael's, which I know several of you have actually already hauled these items, but I'm going to go ahead and show them anyway. So for starters, we have the Recollections Halloween stickers. Uh, 229 stickers for 
In fact, I actually learned about these from you guys. So thank you for sharing your hauls. But it looks like we have the tarot card stickers. Suns and moons and stars. Some crystals. Oh, the lion. My mom's a Leo, so I'll be using that on something for her. Don't forget to sparkle, follow your dreams, love yourself. Mm, love it. Oh, this is pretty. It's like little washies. Some round stickers. These are much softer colors. Past, present, dream, future. So words. Oh, that's great. That's going to be helpful. Uh, I've been looking for a digital with lots of different Halloween words that I can use when I'm creating. And that's all to that one. Up next was the tarot card one. It's Recollections Halloween paper pad, 24 sheets for $8.99. And it has this really thick piece of clear acetate on the top, which as you guys know is going to be great to work with. Shaker cards, um, the faux slides and all of that is going to be great. So we have the magician, the high priestess. Okay, and we have two of each. That's awesome. I'm excited about that because I know my mom's going to want to steal these. <laughs> the Empress. The Emperor, per, <laughs> Emperor, the Hierophant, Strength, the Hermit, and Death, the Tower. The star and the moon. Oh, I love it. Oh, one more. The sun. That is the last one. Those are awesome. I love those. And those are not stickers. Those are just paper to tuck into pockets and envelopes. The next one here is Twilight Paper Pad by Recollections. It's a six by six. 12 designs, two of each. Ooh, that's beautiful. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, I love that. Butterflies, dragonflies, moths. We got blank purple. Oh, that's beautiful. This one could be used all year long, not just this time of year. The moon phases. Black. Which, honestly, I have no solid black paper in my stash, so that was perfect. Ooh, look at those foil stars. Twinkly, twinkling stars. Foil flowers with the back, black background. Is that black again? Or I think this is actually dark purple. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, look at those. I love it. Blue. And that was the end of that one. So, oh, that's one of my favorites. I love that. So beautiful. And I hope I have room for this next one. It's a 12 by 12. We're going to have to get rid of little Mr. Nomi. Say goodbye. <laughs> All right, let's see here. I got the Midnight Garden. Uh, it's Recollections Paper Pad, 16 designs, three of each. 48 total. Oh, wow. Oh man, I love that. That is just beautiful. It's going to be great for backgrounds and bases. 
Oh, look at these beautiful ravens on the purple roses. That might be one of my favorites right there. Another solid. Oh, that's beautiful. It's like black with a touch of green. Oh, wow, look at that. Butterflies, spiders, flowers, snakes, owls, my favorite. Beautiful. Sorry, guys, got you shaking there. Damask in gray. Oh, wow, look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, gold foil. Plants with a black and gray striped background. Let's see that. And we have solid brown. Some little bats and spiders, the purple roses again. And we have gold metallic script on a background of spider webs, snakes, plants, frogs. That is super neat. I don't know how well you guys can see that. And that was the end of that. So that is the end of my haul. I am super excited to get to get started crafting with all this yummy goodness. Tell me what you guys think down below. And if any of you guys have a video showing how to use a die set to make a shaker, please let me know so I can go watch it. Thanks. Have a great night, guys.